So hepatic cellular carcinoma is a leading cause of global cancer death. So a very important cancer that needs better therapies. And at the time of the study inception, the standard of care for unresectable hepatic cellular carcinoma, the most common liver cancer, um, not suitable for ablation or standard regional therapies such as TACE uh, was, was uh, s- systemic therapy. And serafinib was that systemic therapy at the time we designed the study. Note that there was less benefit with serafinib and with all systemic therapies and all therapies in patients who have an invasion to the major vessels in the liver. So we knew this particular patient population was in need of better therapies. And radiation was used mostly in single arm studies, some early comparative studies over many years as the technology evolved and allowed radiation to be delivered precisely to um, the liver, sparing enough liver so that the toxicity was, um, was, was not a problem. And with these results, we saw that many patients had better than expected responses, even when there was major vascular invasion, such that the uh, tumor thrombus would go away and recanalize and have more blood flow and good function to the liver. And so these results uh, with some patients seen having sustained results for many years, led us to believe that radiation benefits patients. And very um, importantly, we needed to do that in a randomized setting to show, uh, really demonstrate the benefits as it's hard to say that our you know, excellent results seen in a single arm study may not do, be due to uh, patient selection. And the results also uh, with radiation, we don't see a benefit the day after radiation. It takes some time for that response to happen, especially for a tumor when it's in the major vessels. So uh, important to sort of compare the benefits of the standard systemic therapy versus radiation in a comparative manner. And with um, that background, we energy RTOG 1112 was designed to evaluate the role of SBRT plus serafinib versus serafinib alone in these patients with unresectable hepatocellular carcinoma. And the main hypothesis was that SBRT would improve outcomes with the primary endpoint being survival and secondary endpoints being progression-free survival, time to progression and um, adverse events. Uh, Those are the endpoints I've described at the ASTRO meeting. I'm excited to present the results of RTOG 1112. Um, It is, uh, and thanking all of the patients, families, um, investigators, energy, uh, NIH for funding that really made um, this trial possible. It was this kind of question can, could and can only be done through a cooperative group. And it takes a lot of people with a lot of passion and commitment to um, help make these trials possible. So I'm thankful for all investigators and patients who participated in this trial. Um, Couldn't have done it with many, many people. So it's, I'm representing the team, uh, but there are many people behind the scenes who made this possible.